Good afternoon, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It is Sunday, October 6th, I believe. Clearly, I don't keep track of my day. So, we're just spending the day at home, just getting ready for our week. Um, hold on, my hose is fixing. He went to the store and I asked him to look for some pumpkin puree so that I was gonna make some banana pumpkin bread like a loaf or muffins or something I have pumpkin pie spice mix I mean pumpkin pie spice like the seasoning but I don't have the puree and they didn't have it at smart and final when I went so yeah Ooh, it's right out here right now I'm just doing some laundry I'm gonna switch out right here while I do it mm -hmm. So I got y'all set up while I do my laundry. <laughs> so yeah, me and Jaden were gonna make banana bread because Jaden uh, is like my sous chef. Y'all know this. He likes cooking. So I'm not the biggest baker or the best baker, shall I say. But it's fall time and this is when I like to take a crack at baking. And so, um, yeah, so we're gonna try it. I'm gonna be basic and make something pumpkin. Um, but he said the store didn't have it, so maybe I'll just, if maybe he'll be nice to go to a different store, but we'll see. But if not, I'll just use the pumpkin pie spice and it'll just have a hint of pumpkin. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it doesn't really taste like pumpkin and it's just to spice the pumpkin. I don't even know what it's for. While Jaden and I are making that, I'll have Ju paint these little stick on wooden pumpkins that I got for a sign that I'm gonna make. He's my artistic child and he gets that for me. I'm very crafty and artistic, so you know. He could be painting while me and Jaden are making the stuff. And yeah, that's how we're gonna spend our Sunday. I have a pork shoulder in the crock pot to make cool pork sandwiches. Never have I ever made that before. But there's a first time for everything, you know? Okay, so I'm back inside. Um, hopefully y'all heard everything that I said. Let me cut the tea down we got. Creed playing in the background. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make the banana bread and then Ju's gonna paint the pumpkins. Shoot, where did they go? My husband put stuff away. Yesterday we went to the, dang, I'm blurry, come on. Come on. All right, yesterday we ended up going to the aquarium to get out of the house and I did not record that. And here's why. My kids had attitudes yesterday, and I was like, they were getting on my nerves, they were making me upset. So I was like, I'm not about to sit here and play happy. We just gonna go, we gonna get out the house. We ended up having a fun time. It made their attitudes start to go away, or go away completely. So we ended up having a really good time. Here in, in San Diego, every October, kids get in free pretty much everywhere. Legoland, SeaWorld, the zoo, safari park, aquarium, and a whole bunch of museums and other stuff. So we got into the aquarium for less than 20 bucks all for, with all four of us. So it was dope, we had a good time. Oh, let me show you my pulled pork and then I have a story. Okay, so here's my, my pork. Um, Okay, so let me undo this. Come on, Latch. That's a little hot. That looks like that's gonna be good. It smells so good. So I put a little bit of barbecue sauce mixed with um, root beer and Worcestershire sauce at the bottom. 
and then I made a little rub and I put it all over the meat so like now I went to go get this barbecue sauce that they sell at the um this market across the way and I figured that will go good with it if not I got some sweet baby rays and then so this is the barbecue sauce that I put with it he got this from Kansas when he went um but it's not a lot left as you can see I think he said he was able to get the um the sauce from the market um so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm gonna put that with the meat like put it inside the meat or just have it as a topping to put on top of the meat to go um, before you put the, the top of the bread on there so we're gonna use BAM so Hawaiian bread um, burger buns and such and then this is the banana bread that we're using and I'm gonna put some real bananas in there and then the pumpkin pie slice See, I gotta taste this. Yeah, because it says you're supposed to have pumpkin with it. Darn it. I might just have to do banana bread and say forget it. So yeah, I was gonna tell you about something that happened when I came back from the store today. So I was leaving um, Smart and Final and you know how like you're driving down one of the aisles of the parking lot and some like someone starts backing out so you wait for them so this car this Tesla started backing out and I you know I just stopped I was waiting and it backed out of the spot and turned to like towards me and then it just slammed on its brakes and I'm like what the heck and then I look inside the car and there's like no one in there I'm like what the heck and then as I'm processing this a guy comes running by my window and it's like waving like sorry and jumps in the in the driver's side of the Tesla and drives off. So you mean to tell me the Tesla was driving itself. It was it looked like it was coming out of the parking spot to go pick him up from the front of the store. That's what it looked like that he probably commanded the 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 car to do i think that is like the most dangerous thing that is something tesla should have never came up with why like it should only be allowed to self-drive when somebody's in the vehicle not outside of the vehicle so here i am thinking waiting for somebody to pull out of a spot and it's a daggum car driving itself tesla is doing too much okay all this futuristic stuff I'm old school. I likes to turn on my, I mean, I do like my auto start. Don't, I'm not going for it. But I don't want my car pulling up to me. <laughs> like that's weird. No, no thank you. Mm -mm, that's two Jetsons. Jetsons, yeah. That's the name of the cartoon. But anyway, I just thought that was so crazy and my kids are obsessed with Tesla so I had to come home and tell them about it real real quick. Hi fellas. What are you guys doing? What are you playing? Madden 20. Oh, I didn't know you guys bought this. Yeah. Who paid for it? Um, Jaden. Me and Daddy. You paid Daddy? Yeah. Huh. Y'all having secret transactions without telling me? How did you not know? I thought you knew. Cause y'all didn't tell me. Um. So, Ju, do you know where Daddy put the pumpkins to paint? No. No, but. You, you still gonna paint them? The ones that we painted? No, the the little stickers. Oh, those. Oh, in the chair. That daddy, he tricked me. Okay, so these are the ones. I got these from Dollar Tree. And then, so what I'm gonna do is, oops. These leaves I got from Dollar Tree. And this, um, these little, what are they? Tin sign. So it says welcome, harvest, and thankful. That came from Dollar Tree in one package. 
and then the sign I got from the dollar section of Target so I'm gonna glue these on here I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all three or just two and then I'm these are stickers so Ju's gonna paint them for me and then I'll stick them on there some kind of way make them all nice and cute and I might put this on my door right now I have this on the door that I got from Dollar Tree this that I got from Walmart which I think is so cute then I have this little setup um, this this and these and the tin tray was already here I just added the little leaves that I got from Dollar Tree this sign came from Walmart and these little pumpkins came from Dollar Tree and then these the garland Dollar Tree this garland and leaves and tray and pumpkin all came from Dollar Tree as well so y'all don't sleep on Dollar Tree I mean they you know they have some pretty cool stuff and they were actually getting rid of this stuff putting out the Halloween decor I also got these the napkins I have some sitting out right here but that's about it yeah I think it's weird that they were getting rid of the fall stuff because even though Halloween is coming once Halloween is over it's still fall you still have Thanksgiving so why get rid of it all but I don't know if they're bringing it back after I don't know this whole retail stuff but um so I'm gonna actually let the camera battery charge for a little bit um, and then when we start baking and painting and stuff I'll bring you back we're painting now oh gee that's a nice pumpkin huh oh Jaden you're doing the leaves really well you're gonna add some colors to the leaves too make it a little bit more folly like add some oranges and because we got other colors here I was gonna make that last one orange you can kind of like add a little orange to this one. Wow, we just made it. Jada, if you add some orange to the ends of it. Do I just made it green? So then I'm gonna take this one, Do just a little bit of gold green. and a little bit of whatever ivory. And what does that make? If you're done with that color, I'm gonna do. This one. Oh, yeah, I'm always done with that green. And then it'll fade into like an orange. These are cheap brushes because the bristles are all coming off. I think these are Dollar Tree. Do not get paint brushes from Dollar Tree. Oh, good job, Jaden. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. Just a little bit because they're only little stickers. You don't need too much red. For what? So I'm gonna take a little orange, then mix it with this, and then that'll be the fade in. In my mind, this stuff comes out so much better. Oh, I'm gonna put orange. Then, what does that make? What color is that? That orange does. Oh my gosh, these bristles! Is that how you wanted it to be? Well. And then we just blend. So what I can do now is take a little bit of sponge. Oh wow, Jaden, you did Dang. so good. You starting to get a little artistic. Look at you, huh, Jaden? Yeah. Let me wet my lips. See, I cut, I cut a little piece of sponge, and I'm gonna wet it a little bit, and then we're gonna dab it. camera on there. No. I'm gonna dab Can't that me. so it looks like it blended. And mm. fade it out. Mm. There we go. Mm. You see how it did you? No. I don't wait, well mommy, you see my my leaf? Oh yeah, very pretty. Let me see. Ooh, let me see. It's red-orange. 
Oh wow, I need a I was trying to make it. Like you can add some of this red orange, Jaden, to the bottom of your leaf and put the sponge in it to blend. Jaden, your pumpkins look so nice. Okay, so here's my sign. It's coming together. This is being held down. I have to use my glue gun. It's not working. And then I'll put the little stickers, you know, throughout here. And then the tree sticker needs to be painted. And here's Jaden. I helped him with adding a little color to the air. Jude did this all by himself, except for the one I did. Okay, so here's my pumpkin bread. Pumpkin banana bread. I went and got some pumpkin. I thought you were talking to me. Yeah, I was like, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you gotta let me know when you're talking into the camera. Just because I thought get we were used having, to it. having a conversation. No, right, we're it's not. All good. It's okay. All right, so it's going in. How long do I get to do it for? For a loaf. Wait, there's different size loaf pans. Oh, shoot, you done messed up now. Shut up. What size is your loaf pan? I didn't know there was multiple sizes. See? It Ooh. looks like an eight by four. See, that's a problem with black folks. We never read <laughs> directions fully and thoroughly, so we just go with the flow. Let's see. That's why Does it say it on the bottom? bottom? Nope. All right, just forget it. Measure. No, I'm not about to measure that thing. <laughs> it looks like four inches by eight. So we're going to do, I'll set it at 45 minutes for now. But we'll do the timer up here. So, um, Z zero zero start. Okay. And, and we'll see how that turns out. So here's my finished pulled pork. I had to drain some of the juice out because it was just a lot of the oil and juice and stuff so I took that out and then I put the barbecue sauce we got from the market this is what it if I could open it oh my god whatever and a little bit more of this let me open this out I mean it is nothing to scream about but so I put a little of that in a teeny, teeny bit of this. Oh, yeah, it's ready to go. This is the first time I ever made this, y'all. And it is, it, I mean, it's good. It's so good. So, if y'all want to know how I made it, just let me know in the comments and I can tell y'all. It was really simple. So simple. Here is my banana uh, my bin Here is my banana pumpkin bread. It looks so pretty. Hopefully it tastes good. I'm just letting it cool down some. Not to mention I'm full. So, I'm gonna wait to eat a little bit. The boys wanna try some too. All right, I think I'm gonna end the video right here. Um. I didn't finish my sign because I'm, I'm tired. Like, I'm real tired right now. I just wanna chill. And I think it's because I'm full. I got the itis. So I'll probably finish it tomorrow. I'll be at home by myself. Like Nelson says his job tomorrow. The boys will be at school, so. I'll be here by myself. I'll let y'all know how the pumpkin bread tastes, everything. But um, thank you so much for watching. And this is just how we spend our Sunday sometime, sometime in the fall, minus the heat. Anyways, so make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, do all the things that you know you are supposed to do, and we will see you in our next video. Deuces.